I saw this woman sitting across the, the room and I couldn't take my eyes off her because she was so unique looking. She had this short red hair and she had this little black jacket on with a little white shirt and a little hanky sticking out and black patent leather boots. And she was really attractive. She was about 20 years old, I guess. And, you know, just young and vibrant. And so I, I thought about her for a long, long time. And that song Shangri-La was playing at the time on the jukebox. And every time I heard that song after that, I always thought about this woman. She got out there and said, this is who we are, whether you like it or not. When I came into the gay scene, what I appreciated about it was that the women that had decided what they wanted to be and, and, and their sexuality, were very strong women and they had to be to make a decision then because it was very hard to be gay then. I mean, it just wasn't accepted with your families or friends. Laura's heart was pounding. She'd heard these places could be dangerous, but her need to be with other women who were like her, like that, was stronger than her fear. Well, she was here and she might as well go in. She'd just have one drink. It's my favorite. <laughs> I thought so. Do you mind if I join you? What's your name? Laura? Laura. Hi, Laura. I'm Mitch. Yes, I, I know she did. I bet she did. <laughs> Where are you from, Laura? Nowhere. Ah, oh, I've been there too. Yeah? <laughs> so listen, do you want to dance? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Thank you. Maybe next time. Laura just had to escape. She liked Mitch, but everything was moving too fast. And yet, if she left now, would there be a next time? They were with women. They wouldn't identify themselves as lesbian or gay or anything. They just was an unwritten code. They were with women. You got me jumping crazy clown. Laura couldn't quite remember how she got back to Mitch's apartment. She'd stayed for one more drink at the bar, and she never wanted the night to end. It left me with a sort of magic place in my mind and imagination that's Greenwich Village in the 1950s that I... Uh, my grandmother would have said, it's a diamond in your pocket. You know, you carry that with you forever and it feeds the stories. In the last 50 years, there has been a revolutionary change in the status of women. In most parts of the Western world, women can vote, own property, and practice any profession within their capabilities. Hey, hey, you set me free. Stupid, you stop it, you know me. <laughs> so what would you like to hear next? Mm. I don't think I could dance another step. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right, then. I'll choose one for us. Who's the woman in the photograph? Oh, that's Amelia Earhart. She was one hell of a pilot. Quite the hero for all the women in the Air Force. I wanted to be just like her. Just take off one day and have nothing between me and the gods but the great big blue sky. The mall, wine, uh, blankets, and we had for Hanlon's point. 
which was the gay section of the beach. The very elegant part of Toronto spanned from Littrose to the King Edward to Melanie's. All very posh bars. You dressed to go there, you didn't. She's an incredible looking woman. Yeah. It's, on the other hand, it was a strategy that probably saved my sanity. I was doing what I, everyone told me to do. My, my family, my life, my culture, my society all said, be a good wife and mother. And I gave it a long run and a good try, and it finally didn't work. And so I'm living a much better life. I'm much truer to myself now. But you can't go back and rewrite it. Worth it. it would still be worth it, my love. But as a Native person, you're targeted as a Native person. And when you realize that your choice of your partners of the same sex, then then you realize that there must be even something more wrong with you because society doesn't accept you already as it is. But now you've got this thing added on. Does that mean you lose your people in the process? Now where do you belong? It took a lot of courage to be what we were. Like, these were all courageous women. We were all out there flaunting the law and, and just being brave enough to do what we were doing with no support, with no help from anybody. And... Laura? I made you a coffee. my favorite. <laughs> Laura thought she would be caught in a hideous trap of warped desires. Instead, she found her wildest dreams had come true. Now she knew what she was for sure. A lesbian. Please. 